Hey, thanks for dropping by. This is uh, basically a discussion I'm having with myself regarding um, my recent purchase, or actually you can't find these things anywhere, uh, an ordering for a 2023 Tacoma and whether I should have waited for the 2024s. Anyways, a uh, bit of background. My current vehicle is a 2019 RAV4, which has been famous, great, love it, no problems with it. Uh, my previous two vehicles were also RAV4s, so I'm very happy with the brand. But right now, I'm basically using it as a pickup truck. Um, I moved from a apartment to a house, and um, anybody that has a house knows about how much more stuff you have to do. So right now, um, in the spring, I'm carrying fertilizer and peat moss and grass seed and gasoline for garden tools inside the RAV4 in the back, um, which has resulted in a lot more cleaning than I really wish I had to do, plus a number of unusual smells. In the fall, uh, basically you have to take leaves to the compost here where I live, and I had uh, 85 bags of those big paper leaf bags that I had to take to the compost pile. So all of them went into the back of the RAV4, again using it as a pickup truck. So any kind of grass clippings, tree branches, hedge trimmings, or hedge trimmings, all get put in bags and get put into the back of the uh, RAV4. And as I said, it's been handling it fine up until this point. But um, as I said, I moved into a house and there's a bunch of junk in this house that I need to take to the dump. So, I mean, what's the alternative? I could get a trailer hitch and a trailer for the RAV4 and use that to take it to the dump, but uh, my one and only um, uh, attempt to back a trailer in did not go well, so I kind of think I want to stay away from that. I also have a couple of mo mountain bikes, and currently I have to take the front wheel off and stick them inside the RAV4 because I don't have a roof rack, and I don't have a trailer hitch, so I could buy a trailer hitch and a trailer hitch bike, but all of that and or trailer is just getting more stuff that I have to deal with. So I thought about it for a bit and decided a pickup truck was what I needed. So I uh, had some pricing done on some of the other brands, but uh, to be truthful, I really am only interested in Toyota. And when I looked at the Tacoma versus the Tundra. Uh, the Tundra is more than I want to spend on it, plus it's larger than really I can comfortably squeeze into my garage. Um, the only nice thing about the Tundra uh, size-wise is the bigger back seat, but I probably can deal with that in that it's just us in the front and no dog, no kids, uh, just very random individuals sitting in the back so they can... Uh, we can move the seats forward. But, it's, uh, as I said, I have a um, Tacoma uh, TRD off-road on order, and I should get it mid-June. Um, I originally wanted a, a uh, TRD Sport with a full box instead of the shorty box, but they said, uh, and they couldn't get confirmation, the earliest I would get that would be late August, and if it had gone that late, I probably... <laughs> would have gone to the 2024. I would just wait it. But, so, why did I pick the 2023? And uh, if you want to comment on maybe I'm me being an idiot, go ahead. Just be nice. But uh, I'll go through some of the thought processes that, that I had. Thought processes that I had. So, first of all, was price that I talked about. Um, definitely not going to pay for the Tundra. And... Um, I really expect the 2024 Tacoma to go up in price and somewhat significantly based on the number of th new things that they put into the truck. Uh, I don't have any pricing information at this point, but nothing ever goes down. It only goes up. The other thing pricing-wise is that currently my RAV4 is probably at the high watermark for a trade-in because I got a really, really good price from the dealer for that vehicle. Uh, mainly because they have virtually no stock on their lot at all, used or new, only a few vehicles. So that's price-wise. Um, there are some benefits in safety features to the 2024, but um, I think I can manage what's in there. It's not really that um, 
well, safety is important, but it's not something that's a deal breaker for me. Styling, you can see the 2024 here. It does look pretty close to the 2023. It's updated. Uh, it's going to be subjective. I don't think this looks any better than the 2023 myself, but uh, others will feel else feel otherwise. Um, so really the big things that have me uh, hesitating are um, they did uh, fix sort of the seating in the front of the Tacoma. It's much more comfortable. Um, supposedly the back seating is a little bit bigger in the Tacoma, but I've seen conflicting reports from different people depending on what model you get and what seat they put in that the back seating area may not be as generous as some people are trying to say. Um, what else? Well, they've gone to coils instead of leaf springs, which does give you a bit more comforty, comfort, comfortable ride. Uh, so that is one of the things. Uh, they've gone from drum brakes to disc brakes. Again, there's something that's attractive. Disc brakes are better, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, for stopping power, um, the interior, it's been updated, so it's modern. But uh, a lot of cases, I think that's just more things to break. They have a really nice big uh, screen here in the truck. And that looks nice, but that's a 14-inch screen, and it'll be very expensive to maintain it if it ever goes bad. Uh, lots of new digital buttons and lots of wonderful things. I mean, it, it looks nice but I don't hate the 2023's in interior. Um, and again, it is all electronic, which like even the parking brake in this is electronic, which is just more things that have to be maintained. So much as I'm a gearhead uh, technical wise in uh, computers and such, um, it still does not necessarily make me want to stampede out to buy one of these things. Um, Cab height's a little bit better, but I'm not particularly tall. I'm only 5'10", so I'm not uh, 6 feet or above where it should be an issue because uh, I did get the premium package that does have a sunroof in it, um, which does reduce the heights, but I'm more than... I wasn't able to sit in one. I was only able to sit in the Sport without a sunroof, so it, uh, I'm assuming that it's going to be good enough. Um, so... Other than that, shocks versus leaf spring, disc versus drums, yes, both of those are better. Seating position is better, but you can buy some aftermarket stuff to make it better. I've seen a couple of channels with some good suggestions on that. Tech upgrade does not necessarily appeal to me. I mean, in the bed of the truck, now you have an electric tailgate. Great, another thing to go wrong. Um, sorry, but... Uh, um, like Scotty in Star Trek talking about that one uh, Excelsior class ship where they said that the more technical you make it, the easier it is to gum up the works. And I don't really think it's that much of a hardship to have to drop the tailgate manually as opposed to, wow, pushing a button. Uh, it's nice in my RAV4 to be able to push the button to raise the tailgate, but uh, I had a previous, my first RAV didn't have that and I didn't uh, suffer unjustly for not having that. So, um, one of the big things, I guess, I've just been a little bit uh, uh, snarky in some of these comments. Again, I'm an old guy, older guy, and I'm a big proponent of reliability, and new does not necessarily mean good to me. I like a truck that's proven. I like a truck that is simple. I like a truck that can be repaired easily. I like a truck you can buy your own mods for. So then let's go to the big uh, breaking point for me to keep the 2023, which I'm thinking now that I will do, and that is the engine drivetrain. Uh, the new 2024 has got a four banger in it, turbocharged, yes, more power, yes, more towing capacity, yes, but it's a new motor and the Tacoma in um, uh, when it was first introduced, had two years, almost three years of problems with the motor and the drivetrain, which they have fixed. So now the 2023 
is pretty reliable. It's everything's more or less fixed in it. You, can, you know, you can get bad vehicles from the manufacturing since they've moved the production to Mexico. Um, but um, yeah, I looked at the uh, the Tundra. The 2022 Tundra came out with the new um, V6 that is uh, turbocharged as opposed to a V8. And um, there's a lot of bad stuff on the internet about that truck. So it's in its first couple of years, having all kinds of problems. Uh, people are not happy with the uh, supposed improvement by including the high the uh, hybrid drive and Toyota is has a long track record with the hybrid drive in a lot of their vehicles but not in a truck and it seems to be numerous problems with it so I am going to use that as a sign that the Tacoma 2024 will also have a lot of teething problems I expect Toyota to fix them but I don't have the time to sit and I can't afford to take time off work to go sit in a Toyota dealership or have to rent a uh, car or a loaner uh, while they fix this thing. I need, you know, dependability. I need reliability. So the V6 with the crappy, somewhat crappy six-speed automatic is, as they say, almost bulletproof. And that is why I'm buying the 2023. Um, I noticed when I went to my 2019 RAV, that was the first year the new or current redesign, the new redesign, which is now current. And I saw quite a bit more plastic going into that truck, which I did not like. It did not come back to bite me. Uh, that truck is four years old, the RAV4. Um, but I did see a lot of plastic. And I'm assuming that that, as in other manufacturers, um, is going to be in the 2024 and I don't know if they've started incorporating plastic into the 2023, the last year that they made it, or it's going to be old style. And I'm hoping it's old style, and that's what I want to go to. Um, the other thing that I've seen uh, people suggesting, well, that four-cylinder four, uh, motor uh, with turbocharging, it's been used in the Highlander, and I've seen a lot of negatives in the Highlander, that even though the Highlander is not as heavy as the Tacoma. Uh, the Highlander can struggle um, with that engine, especially if it's going to have to tow anything. So that to me is, you know, warning lash, uh, lights flashing, etc., etc. So I'm really, um, I hope I don't uh, come to, to um, regret this, but I'm thinking I'm going to stick with the tried and true as opposed to the new and fancy. So that's my thought process. Feel free to comment in the comment sections of whether I'm crazy or whether you agree. But um, yeah, there's a lot of nice stuff in uh, this 2024 um, Tacoma and maybe in 2026, 2027, I'll buy one. But right now I'm sticking with tried and true, true over uh, new and fancy. Okay, thank you.